Hello, my name is Kim Olson, and today I'm going to share with you what the heck a GMO is. If you haven't had a chance to check out my other videos, please do at FitKimTV on YouTube or go to my blog at FitKim.com. So I do a lot of public lectures and I travel around the country doing these. So go on my blog and you will see an events calendar on the right. Maybe I'll be in a city near you. But one common question I get, people uh, are often confused when I say avoid GMO food. And I wanted just to clarify what that is and what you need to watch out for. GMO stands for genetically modified organism. And the, another common term is GE, which is genetically engineered. The main difference is GMO is where it was a naturally occurring organism, such as uh, corn, and something is injected into it, a foreign object is injected to it and changes the DNA. Genetically engineered foods are completely man-made. So that's the main difference. I'm mostly gonna talk about GMO because there, it's more, it's very prevalent in our food, and it's kind of deceptive because you don't really realize it. So why do, why did they start doing this? That's the first question. Well, it all started back in the 1990s when farmers started to, well, mass producing uh, produce had already been happening for since the industrial age. But what they wanted to do is they really wanted to make as much money as possible. So they realized that if they have, let's say you had a soybean crop, and there was pesky insects that were making the crop die off or not producing as much as they wanted. They figured out that if they took a pesticide protein and injected it into the soybean, then they could yield more crop. Well, what happens is, is when our body eats soybeans that are genetically modified or other foods, our body doesn't understand or uh, identify that foreign protein that is now in the DNA. It's, it's not in nature and so the body either rejects it which a common thing will be an allergic reaction um, other symptoms are chronic fatigue syndrome IBS um, all stomach ailments a lot of those are actually affected by genetically modified organisms um, also symptoms of headaches things like that um, that's actually common uh, uh, allergic either severe or short term also, I've even seen um, links with um, allergies, asthma, and then also autism. So just do some research when you get a chance. Um, but that's exactly what happens. Um, and uh, again, this started in the 1990s. And if you look at any research or any charts, our cases of allergies, asthma, ADHD, uh, autism, all of that skyrocketed in direct correlation with that. So definitely something to it. So what I wanted to do is share with you the most common genetically modified foods and your best bet is to avoid them at all costs and some of them are hidden in your ingredients so if you don't know what something is, Google it. And even um, in Europe, Australia, they've actually completely banned genetically modified foods from being uh, sold because they said we don't have any research on the long-term effects of these, so why would we risk it with our population? So we can do that too. Um, Robin O'Brien, she's kind of my hero with as far as genetically modified food and just exposing these things to us. Her book is called The Unhealthy Truth. I'll put a link uh, to her website as well as her book. I have it at work, it's not with me right now. But it's an awesome book because she's a mother of four and her youngest had an allergic reaction and she just started kind of looking into this whole thing and just went on this journey and she's very passionate about it. So if you want to help support that, you can go on her website. But let me read to you the most common genetically modified foods. So we have um, rapeseed. Okay, rapeseed is what we call the trade name for it or what they kind of described it as is canola oil. So whenever you see any of my recipes, you'll notice I never have canola oil in it. People think canola oil is good because instead of vegetable oil, they were told go to canola oil. I don't have any in my house. Um, I recommend that you get rid of yours because it's genetically modified. Um, honey, believe it or not, a lot of honey is genetically modified. So what I would do is recommend going to a local farmer's market. Buying local actually helps uh, reduce symptoms of allergies and it helps build up your immune system. And check with the farmer and ask him. Um, that's something you could definitely do. Cotton. Cottons and everything, seriously, but it's genetically modified a lot of times. Rice is another thing, so that's one of those things you want to choose organic. Sugar cane, tomatoes, that's a huge one. I know it's more expensive, but I highly recommend buying organic tomatoes. You just don't want to be putting foreign things into your body. 
you just don't. Um, corn is huge. I think that's one of the biggest ones in the whole world as well as soybeans, which is also called edamame. Make sure you get organic. I cannot stress that enough. Potatoes, flaxseed, papaya, squash, cottonseed oil, tobacco, meat, peas, vegetable oil, sugar beets, dairy products, vitamins. Um, and just so you know with dairy products, it says 22% of cows in the U.S. are injected with genetically modified hormones. Crazy. You just got to watch these things. So I really don't want to scare you. I wanted to educate you, but I really think it's important that we as a society become aware because if we're aware, then we can demand different. And already farmers are making it changes because they're realizing that as a public, we don't want that. So go for organic, especially with the top genetically modified foods, avoid them at all costs. And if there's anything else you want to add to this, please post a comment. If you like this video, please subscribe at FitKim TV on YouTube and also go to my blog at FitKim.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you soon.